Mars is no longer capable of sustaining life. life. Our water is depleted. Temperatures increase annually while our populations plummet. Efforts to stabilize the atmosphere have failed. We have arrived at the only remaining course of action. The conquest and occupation of Earth. 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 Scientology is a secretive organization that does not like to reveal its secrets. Many of its secrets are completely nonsensical anyway. Many of its ideas are simply based upon the belief. But much of the control is held behind closed doors. So even those who spend thousands upon thousands of dollars and many years becoming an operating thetan, they still will not see the full picture. It's more about control than actual truth. L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology, was a criminal, recognized to be so. He fled from nation to nation, from state to state, avoiding the law. In 1979, while not actually living in France, L. Ron Hubbard was found guilty of fraud and sentenced to four years, staying on a ship to avoid law proceedings. It's been recognized in many different nations as being a scam. Pure and simple. Sure, it can set up a location in London, or Paris, or elsewhere. But, what it's selling, it's selling under false pretenses. It's not recognised as a religion in many parts of the world. Its books have been banned in many countries. And despite this, it still has the capacity to generate huge sums of money and influence. Now, it goes without saying that... Hubbard was basically a liar, a major league bullshit artist, the founder of a corrupt and dishonest religion. Not even a religion, let's just call it what it is, a scam, a cult. And one of the claims that he used to throw out there was his incredible education. He made out he was a very educated man, a person highly trained in mathematics, physics and various other fields also claimed to be a student of Sigmund Freud and others. And of course, Scientology is unscientific. Its claims about the universe, about history, about science, about so many other things, is based upon the claims of L. Ron Hubbard and of course David Miscavige. It's about the belief system, not about the truth. And they cannot support their claims. And when given evidence counter to their claims, they can simply reject it. The claims made about a galactic confederacy, about Lord Xenu, completely nonsensical, unscientific, without any evidence. And worse than that is, of course, well, their pseudoscience. They basically have Dianetics, as a pseudo-scientific thought reform process to make people suitable for Scientology and it's meant to be eventually if you go through the processes working towards being well an operating thetan eventually. The problem with this is that it doesn't actually work. There isn't the science there, there's pseudo-science which supports this kind of belief. Of course, because of their own psychotherapy, their own pseudo-psychotherapy, they basically are anti-psychiatry, rejecting conventional psychological advice, professional psychological advice, in favour of the faith-based logic of their religion. Scientology is a rip-off, pure and simple. You pay thousands upon thousands of dollars to basically achieve very little. They try and sell you their books, sell you their courses, they try and get people to come in for a free test, a free stress test, and they suggest you come along to the courses. It starts off cheap and then rapidly becomes more expensive. They abuse their members economically as well as physically in some cases. They're basically about control. They're about ripping you off by getting more money for the organisation, so the organisation itself can extend its influence. Scientology has killed people, whether it's down to neglect, 
whether it's down to locking people away in a room until they die. There are numerous instances of this, where Scientology has actually killed people because they were trying to leave the belief, either trying to get medical attention or simply trying to leave the organisation. Rather than allowing people to step away to leave the organisation, they lock them away and treat them like slaves. And of course, L. Ron Hubbard, he took drugs while his members were told not even to take anything as strong as aspirin, not to take any medication, even if they had cancer, heart disease, or whatever the condition may be. So L. Ron Hubbard was basically, well, dosed up to the eyeballs on narcotics. And his followers, then and now, aren't even allowed or not meant to be allowed, if they're members of the Church of Scientology, to go along to a doctor and get some simple, basic medication. Whether it's antidepressants, whether it's something to reduce the size of a cancer, whether it's chemotherapy, whatever the case may be, the idea is that in this belief, within Scientology, you're meant to be able to cure yourself for your own development. You're meant to move beyond many of these illnesses. And illnesses are brought about not through naturalistic means, but by spiritual imperfections. Staring towards the sound, it seemed as if that mighty desert of houses had found a voice for its fear and solitude. <laughs> 